Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, today I've had a real mixed bag of weather, some pretty decent tropical rain, some intermittent sunshine, temperature at about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect. And right now got a little blue sky. All systems are topped off, water is overflowing. Perfect. So a month or so ago, I was reviewing this Red Odo 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. It's been working fantastic. Keep making it jump through the hoops every single day. It's sitting here right now in float at 100% charge. But if you watch the earlier video, on the first charge I ever put on this thing, I got a voltage spike and it continued to spike the voltage. I never noticed any problems with that whatsoever. And talked to the manufacturer and a couple of other of you that uh, have this battery and it's working well for you. But uh, at least one of you mentioned you recorded a voltage spike as well. So this is just tied into a very small system. Only 200 watts of panels coming in. Uh, there's a system. It's being controlled by that uh, Victron 7515 up there. Right there. It gets used every single day, cycling it three to 500 watt hours every single day. And it kept getting that voltage spike. And then on a lot of us that were discussing this matter, uh, a few of you recommended just set this thing to 13.8 every day and for your bulk charge and then about 13.5 uh, for your float and call it good. And I did do that and everything worked absolutely uh, famously. I never had another voltage spike whatsoever on this system. And it's really worth mentioning that I would have never known about these uh, voltage spikes that I was getting. The battery has always worked just perfectly. Uh, all the system uh, tied into it worked perfectly. And if not for the smart charge controller that I'm running from Victron, the MPPT7515, and being able to record everything daily and then look back at the log, I would have never known about that first voltage spike or any of the uh, later voltage spikes. There is nothing uh, apparent, all the battery monitors, battery voltage, while I was testing it with a multimeter, everything looked good. It's only the fact that the Victron, you know, catches your exact usage. So going back about a month on this log, yeah, that's about a month. And right when I started catching that 16 uh, volt spike, which was about the highest one I ever saw, nothing ever alarmed, nothing ever happened. It was always right at the moment that the absorption stage was finishing up and it was just clicking over into that float stage. And then right there, there's just a momentary sp uh, spike. The Victron app caught it and, and showed me, you know, what it was. So right back, let's see if I can see where that was. Well, going back for the month, it's only taken me back to where I reset the parameters to 13.8. So, okay, roughly a month ago, I set the uh, parameters to 13.8 for your bulk and 13.5 for float. And it did perfectly every single day. So this is, this is after I changed that from the preset lithium iron phosphate setting on the Victron charge controller, which is a 14.2 bulk and 13.5 float. So here I've got it 
I can just read to these. It's a little far away to see the small numbers, but I'll just tell you what it is. All of these bar graphs here is after it's been set up to 13.8, which it did exactly. It went to 13.81 straight across, 13.81. Everything you can see there, 13.81. And every one of these days, I was cycling, oh, 350 to 400 watt hours roughly so and it worked fine and never saw a voltage spike and like many of you suggested you know 13.8 that's good enough on these type of batteries but of course I stayed a little bit obsessed about trying to figure out what was going on with that so all through here for the you know a couple of weeks 13.8 then I decided I would go ahead and reset the lithium iron phosphate setting on the controller and see if, what happened if I tried to take it back up to 14.2. So about a week ago, I reset that. And now on these last few days here before I did that, it never got up to a full charge and that was only because of the, the conditions out here. We Too dark and not enough sunshine to bring it back up. Then, the first day that it did get back up into float, right there on that one, 16.1 volt. The next day, got back up 15.09 volt. 16 volt. And then, on the next day, 14.75. And I thought, well, that's getting closer. And then, for the last one, two, three, four, oop. 14.21, 14.21, 14.21, 14.21. Not getting that transfer spike when it flips over. Every one of those days I just mentioned, of the last four days, took it up, 14.2, held it there, rock steady for its absorption phase. When it clicked over into float, never got a spike. So, did this battery resolve its own spiking issues? Is that mean that this battery resolved and balanced everything out eventually and it just took basically a month of working it out pretty good and then resetting it four days running not a single spike exactly what the parameters are set on that Victron charge controller and it's working absolutely perfectly so I really don't know what happened here. I'm assuming, my sense is, is that's what's happened now, is it just took a month of uh, working it and then setting it back to the uh, lithium iron phosphate uh, settings on the Victron. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm, I'm thinking the issue is resolved. And like I said, if it wasn't for having this, I would have never known about any of this going on at all. That's why I love the Victron. I don't want it to make me obsess about anything too much. And a lot of you were saying that that little spike was nothing to be concerned of. Just drop that voltage down, which I did. And I was fine with that too. But like I said, just through a little obsession, I decided to see what would happen now after running it for the past month, and now it's absolutely working perfectly. So anyway, I wanted to uh, do a little follow-up on this battery. Everything, all systems go on it. It's still doing fa just fantastic. Really like it. All right. Aloha.